Thousands of grieving Thais line the streets of Bangkok to pay the last respects to their king, Pumipun Adulyadid. King Pumipun's body was moved from the hospital where he died to the Grand Palace. A royal convoy carried his body through the procession route. Crown Prince Maha Vajiralongkorn, who is also the successor to the throne, joined the procession with other members of the royal family. He had made a surprise request to delay formally becoming the next king. At the Grand Palace, the Crown Prince presided over the bathing of his father's body, a traditional Buddhist ritual. The king's body will reside in the palace for an undisclosed duration. A government holiday was declared today for mourning. Flags are also to fly at half-mast. King Pumipon reigned as monarch for 70 years. He died at the age of 88. Meanwhile, Thais living overseas also paid their last respects in Southern California, home to the largest Thai community in the world outside of Thailand. The sentiment was no different. I think it's the time that he needs to rest. He spent like most of his life doing something for us. Well, on a diplomatic trip to Norway, President Tony Tan King Yum extended his condolences to the people of Thailand. He has been a source of stability uh, for Thailand with all his ups and downs and political changes. The king has been a reference point, a rock on which uh, Thailand can depend on. I think that he has, uh, his reign will be remembered for the peace and prosperity which he has brought to the kingdom of uh, Thailand. In his letters to Queen Surikit and Crown Prince Mahavajira Longkorn, Dr. Tan described King Pumipun as truly remarkable. And so the late king had throughout his long reign worked tirelessly for his people. He added that history will remember King Pumipun. Remember him as a great monarch, as a unifying force who is deeply loved and respected by the Thai people and the rest of the world. Dr. Tan is expected to visit the Thai embassy tomorrow when he returns from his state visit to Norway. Prime Minister Lee Sun Long also wrote a letter to Thai Prime Minister Prayu Chan Ocha. In his letter, he noted that King Pumipun had profound compassion for his people throughout his long and benevolent reign and ceaselessly dedicated himself to improving their well being. Mr. Lee said that the late king will always be deeply revered by the Thai people as well as around the world. He added that the role that the late king played in fostering the enduring friendship between Thailand and Singapore will also be remembered.